Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's news, science and technology. We're talking about robotics. Yes, CES 2022, Las Vegas, Nevada, robotic companies arrived. January 5th to January 8th. They introduce robotic technology. Whether we like this vast technology or not, artificial intelligence is here and soon will be a part of our daily lives. With that being said, there's a host of robots for all sectors. I mean all sectors. I completed around three top tier robotic sectors and I just want you to stay tuned for this new technology. Don't let it surpass you now. Do your research. Robots is taking over, putting us humans out of work. Starting with number one, Hyundai Motor Group. They has introduced a mobile eccentric droid called Mobed. M-O-B-E-D for short. It's a four-wheel indoor outdoor robot thing, you know. And I figured its purpose is to service like an electrical delivery service, that is. Instead of Uber, Lyft, you know, you have all these autonomous robots that be utilized for all sorts of deliveries. Whether it's few, I said few. <laughs> that's like fuel and food together but yeah they can deliver fuel if you're stuck on a highway they can deliver food if you're home and hungry it could be such things even on a hollywood set you know you got these electronic robots four-wheeled that can go outdoors strapped with all sorts of equipment and camera gear on a hollywood set making it easier where you don't have to carry things probably also good on a golf course you know it might take away the caddies that's out there holding them golf clubs for people like tiger woods and jack nicholson if jack nicholson still plays also they can be used as an electrical let me sort of also can be used as an electrical walker for elderly you know your elderly folks or even the young generation a stroller for babies but who in the heck want to have a droid pushing their baby around town even if the stroller was actually the droid itself why would I want to put my baby in the stroller that's taken away from me being a parent so I hope it's no parent out there that's lazy that's having a robot push a child around town Next thing you know, you want to find some technology with a robot that can insert your, your breast milk. And now you got the robot breastfeeding. Come on, people. Wise up. I love technology and all, but some things you have to do for self. Number two on the list is a company called Nail Technology or Nile Technology. They manufacture agricultural robots. Now they just debuted at the CES 2022 trade show. This innovative robot made for agriculture means is dubbed by the name of Ted. Yes, that's right, Ted, T-E-D. Ted is expected to reduce pesticides use address issues with labor shortages wow a robot equipped to grow crops anything from corn to Mary Jane number three on the list people wise up wake up and do your research number three Purdue Robotics Purdue they manufacture commercial services so they create this robot that's, that means uh, of service is to utilize commercial things such as cleaning this robot 
can clean many things, many spaces, such as offices, schools, hospitals, factories, grocery stores, and much, much more. Yes, this robot coming out of Purdue Robotics is called Purdue Afro C1. So that's the top three on my list. But before I get out of here, people, let me just ask you. As robots take over, they're taking over the health sector, the agricultural sector, and even the lower skill level worker sector. You're going to see robots at Ross and Walmart. Oh, my gosh. As long as they make them lines go fast, I don't even complain. But what would that mean for us human beings? As tens of millions of jobs could basically be lost, especially in the poor communities of America. Of course, Big Brother will pocket tens of millions of dollars. I'm sure no robot will be paid by the hour for the services. And should robots be limited to certain jobs? Maybe we should have them work at the sewer waste facilities, cleaning up poop or cleaning up their debris around the oceans. Or have them work for the police department or have them doing some military duties on the front line, you know? I'm quite sure those autonomous robot manufacturers will take in millions while million Americans will be out of work. So what are you guys' thoughts? Let me know. <laughs>